Welcome back to Renovating Dan. Uh, here's an update on the mailbox. As you can see, it didn't last one day. Mailman came and busted it immediately. So, today we're going to upgrade it. Um, I'm going to start by grabbing the calipers and just getting some measurements. Uh, I'm going to measure the thickness of the original mailbox wall and what the plastic I added, but it's kind of Dumb. Why would I do that? Just measure the whole thing. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it looks like it comes out to about 4.8. I'm going to round that up. Uh, next, I went and found some roofing nails, galvanized, because galvanized nails, I think, do well in weather, right? I'm going to take my Dremel here and just cut off the tip of this bad boy. Now I'm doing this inside of a fireproof cardboard box. Yeah, it's a little known material, but uh, they totally make fireproof cardboard. Here you've got the tip off. And now we're going to take our calipers and measure out the thickness of that door. Here I've taken a sharpie and marked all the way around 4.8 millimeters. Back to the fireproof cardboard box and we're gonna cut this off right where my marking is. Now what you're looking through is I actually have some uh, like plexiglass covering the lid so that these sparks and stuff don't fly up and hit me in the face. The other big thing I really wanted was to avoid any plastic getting spun around and flung on me. That's one peg down on to the second one. I'm just holding this on with some channel locks, which probably isn't the best because it kind of allows the nail to slide around if I'm not careful with it which you can actually see here in a second. That's that's a no-no. Don't want that to happen. What else we don't want to have happen is the wheel break off. Here we got a new wheel. New cutting wheel. We'll uh, finish up that cut just like that. I grabbed my files that I bought a long time ago for another project and we'll speed this up and just file down the edges so I have a nice smooth surface that will hopefully help it go into a hole I'm going to drill into the plastic. Look how fast my hands are moving. I'm like a machine. It's kind of fun. In some of this sped up video it only looks like I'm doing one quick motion back and forth. Here we've got the second peg. I'm going to round off one side and we'll flip it around. There you go. And get the other side. Smooth off any rough surfaces so it's even. And then we'll take it out of the grips here and confirm our measurements are good. It's a nice sanding job. Nice job, guy. Put the file back. Put it away. Here you can get a quick glimpse of the complete set. Nice. Nice. Pack that up. Snap it closed and put that away. Nice little quick shot of the two pieces alone. Here, push that together, would you? Thank you, sir. Then we'll grab the calipers again and confirm that, what were we shooting for? 4.8? Is that what we were aiming for? Let's see what we got here. Three, 3.9? Is it 3.9 or 4.8? I don't remember. Regardless, that ought to be good enough. 
enough to go through both walls, both thicknesses. We're going to grab some plastic to simulate drilling the holes. First I need to figure out the width of these pegs, these nails. How, how big was that? 3.08 millimeters. That's how thick it is. Let's grab a drill bit. I don't remember what size it was, but we'll take a measurement. This is my first guess. Let's see what we got here. 3.15. That, that feels pretty solid. Alright, we'll hook it into our drill here. Drill into the plastic right about here. Yeah, that looks good. Vary the speed here. Don't want to go into my hand. Clean up all the debris. I've heard people call it detritus. That's a fun word. Alright, now we'll grab our peg and see if how good of a fit this is. Oh yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. Look at that. Alright, pull that out of there. Let's go drill some holes in the mailbox, shall we? Here we're drilling our first hole. Obviously, only that top piece is still being held on by super glue. That bottom part is broken off on the door. And everybody's thinking what I'm already expecting. The moment I break through this first piece of plastic, it's going to break off completely. But at least we've got the holes lined up. That's all that matters. Here, I've super glued that piece back on and super glued one of our metal pegs in place so that I can line up the second drill hole. Let's get it started. Now, I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen here, or at least I wasn't. I'm going to get through that first piece of plastic and I was expecting to get through this, the door, the plastic on the door, but it just wouldn't break all the way through. And once I realized I was probably deep enough, I went ahead and just shut it off. That's probably good. Yeah. Let's put the drill down. Thank you. We'll grab the super glue. This is, oh, got some stuff on it, detritus. Squeeze some of that in there, nice. Put the super glue back, grab our second peg, and just manhandle that, work it in there. Make sure it's straight though, there you go. Oh, doesn't that look nice? I love that feel. Let that sit for a second. Yep, then I think we'll close the lid up. And uh, just let it sit for a while. My mail's not coming for a little while. It ought to be able to sit up. And let's see how this goes, huh? Thanks for stopping by.